Okay, this is my, my last question. Uh, I think a thing that is so underutilized with just about every salesperson I've ever talked to is getting referrals. It is one of the easiest things you can do. Uh, I do a terrible job at it. My team doesn't do a great job at it. Uh, most people that I know don't. Uh, I've heard that you do. Can you tell us a little bit about how you put uh, structure in place to make sure that you're capturing referrals. Yeah. So the first thing is you have to partner with marketing on this, because like, it's really hard for sales to do it alone. All right. So partner with marketing, and you know, and, and together, you know, uh, director of marketing or VP of marketing or whatever it is, they together agree that you guys are gonna, you know, sales and marketing are gonna prioritize referrals. So that's number one. Because marketing needs to own the programmatic aspects of doing referrals. Um, and, but in and, and the tracking aspect and the, you know, making sure that it's you know, put into your CRM or your marketing automation system correctly so you can track all that kind of stuff. And anytime you want to do campaigns, if you want to do referral campaigns, DigitalOcean does a ton of referral campaigns, um, marketing's going to execute against all those campaigns. So you have to be locked up with marketing. From the sales perspective, there are, um, there's a, it's part of, partially is just ingraining it in the culture. Like, the same way you would ingrain, um, you know, you always send a follow-up email, you know, after a call, or you, you know, whatever close that you're always closing for, or the way that you want to open up a call, or you would ingrain the demo script, right? You also ingrain that, you know, making sure that your reps are asking for a referral. And the thing that we used to do, um, Fluid was all about referrals. So the thing that we used to do. Um, at Influitive is uh, we would the time that we would ask for the referral that we found the best success of asking for the referral was twice. One um, was more obvious, right? Which is sort of after the first call when they're like when you have someone who's really intrigued. Right? My my team in Toronto was in Toronto at Influitive, um, and they there's a word a Canadian word I didn't know this until I became a, a half Canadian, and they're called keeners. Like, oh, she's a keener. Like, what the hell is with the keener? Like, someone who's keen, right? They're really keen. They want to buy. But then we had this thing was like, anytime you get a keener, you ask them for a referral. Right? <laughs> um, and so when you had a keener on the phone, you'd be like, hey, you seem really keen. I guess they used to say, um, the, these Canadians, about, uh, you know, about that. Like, you know, is there anybody in your, is anyone in your network or any, anybody else that you think, you know, can, you know, would benefit from the solution? So that was one um, time to ask. And then there's a way to ask too, but we'll get that into a second. So the second time was actually when someone said no. Well, this was more of an at the SDR level, right? When someone when someone said no, like there is this human like guilt that happens. Like no matter who you are, because like you know most people are not assholes, so most people like just feel bad saying no. Um, and so it's the perfect time to be like, I get it. This is not the right time for you. Or you know, I get this is not the right solution for you, but I was wondering, I you know, I, you know, I'm 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 really trying to spread the word about advocacy to other B2B marketers. Is there anybody in your network that you think would would actually appreciate this? Because I know it's not the right thing for you, um, and that the whole there's guilt there, and the guilt actually gets people sometimes. Like okay, yeah. you know, maybe my friend, my buddy over at this company would be interested in it. So the so one is is ask. Like you just got to remember to ask and ask as often as you can and try to find the places that works for you. Those were the two that worked for us. And the second was make the ask really easy. So instead of just, hey, can you give me a referral or do you know anybody who? Um, because then you're putting all the onus on the person. Right? Uh, what I would train my team to do is look at the last company that they worked for on LinkedIn and just say and very, be very specific. Hey, I see that you used to work at you know, X company as Octox, right? Is there anyone over there that would still that you think would be interested in this, or who's the marketing person over there that you introduce me to the marketing person, or trying to get in? Is that the right person? But just use the last company they worked for, um, and that's it's, you're making it a lot easier for them versus having them, you know, crack the brain and try to figure out who might be interested. There's like a program too, like you get uh, twenty percent off your uh, you know, contract if we actually. Yeah, well, I mean like that's that's why you need marketing above. So yeah, definitely. I mean, we at at Do we have a referral program that you get if you give us referrals, you get free credits. 
Um, so, uh, and then at, at, uh, in Fluidive, it used to be um, points. Um, so, and then you can trade that in for swag and like other things. Um, but, or like free conference passes are things that people like a lot for referrals. They like, generally people, when they're doing B2B, when they're doing referrals, they generally don't want things that are for them. It, unless you're selling to, the more senior they are, the more things that they want that are gonna help educate their team or help achieve their, their business objectives. The more junior they are, the more likely a t-shirt is gonna work. Right? Um, and so, yeah, it depends on who you're selling to. Um, but we would do for like the, the VPs and stuff, we would do free conferences, get you free training for your team, you know, those kinds of things to, um, because they, because then it, it didn't, it, then it didn't feel as, much of like a tit for tat, and it didn't. It felt more like, hey, I'm doing this because if I do this, I'm going to benefit my team because they're going to get all training, or they're going to get to go to conferences, or things like that. Mm -hmm.